Resilience is the quality that enables organizations to perform effectively under duress, rise to challenges, and bounce back from the inevitable problems that teams face in the real world. Great example of this is the 82nd Airborne at Lafayette Bridge, just outside of St. Mary Glees. So I'm standing by the statue of Iron Mike, which is the statue dedicated to the resilient paratroopers and teams who fought right here. After the successful D-Day landings, the Germans launched successive counterattacks for four days to try, to try to break the Allied lodgments. The 82nd Airborne stood in their way. Despite ferocious fighting and heavy casualties, the paratroopers stood strong. The Germans never regained the bridge and failed to threaten Utah Beach. So we can learn a lot about building resilience from this battle. First, building resilience begins with trustworthy leadership that earns the respect of their employees. Under duress, people listen to and follow the people that they trust and respect. Second, take the time to explain why. When people know the big picture and their role in it, they are far more likely to rise to the occasion, to rise to the challenge, and to stay fully engaged when times are tough. And third, carefully cultivate positive discipline in which people know the difference between right and wrong in terms of performance and behavioral expectations, and they do what's right even when no one's watching. People in those environments will be good stewards of your team's time, talent, resources, and energy when they have voluntary discipline, which is the discipline of commitment. So if you would like to learn more about building resilience, join our membership program at strategicleadersacademy.com.